So what were some of the lessons from there? Um, because obviously training um, was a big part of it. So you obviously had mm. a lot of training. You would have had to be persistent. Um, you yep. need, to, need to be passionate. Um, and passion's an interesting area, isn't it, really, in terms of what, mm. dri what drives us as human beings? So what do you think yep. was what was what do you think was driving you? Because obviously you were putting in the work, and you, it's hard to put in the work unless you're really motivated. So what what was driving you back then? It's it's kind of a question that I didn't really ask myself, to be frank. At mm -hmm. that point, I just knew I wanted to go to Olympic Games. Like that was mm -hmm. kind of as simple as it was. Um, in reflection, I would say that. It was really to try to prove something to myself, I think, mm -hmm. that, and ultimately, like, if I'm, yeah, if I'm really real around that, I'd say it was trying to prove that I was enough in, in one sense or another. Mm -hmm. um, and, and was I? Um, and, like, the reflection as well as, as part of the Olympic journey was really that after, after 11 years of, you know, all of the work that goes into it. And certainly, you know, there's by no means is a smooth path um, as any journey to any kind of um, Olympic experience or, or any other as well. Yeah, it just wasn't a smooth path, ups and downs and lots of things that, you know, blindside you along the way. And um, But it, it sort of had this idea that it was sort of too important to let go. Yep. Um, there are a couple of times when I very nearly did and... I'm pretty grateful to you know a couple of people along the way who then helped me reconnect to what it, why it was important to me or, or you know mm -hmm. to that to that experience and so I, I did persist but it was absolutely kind of by chance almost Jeff I reckon <laughs> rather than by design right. um, and so I got to the Olympics you know it was you know the pressure cooker that you would imagine and um, I actually had. You know, when I, the day I arrived, the day I left the Olympic Village, I actually had um, yeah, an upset tummy. And at the time, I assumed that I had had, you know, that I was sick, um, that I'd eaten something or, mm -hmm. you know, contracted something. And the day I left the village, it all stopped. Nice. Um, nerves, exactly. Yeah. Physiological response to stress mm -hmm. and pressure. Um, and, yeah, it was, it was as clear as that. And only in hindsight, um, you know, was I able to recognise that. But it's interesting also on the back of the Olympic experience, I reckon I had about three weeks of contentment. And then it, I just nearly dismissed it, to be frank. Like, moved on to, you know, Blue White Media, which was the next chapter for me where you and I met, you know, around the digital marketing stuff. And, yeah, I, I just sort of, yeah, pushed left left a little bit of you know the Olympian over in Greece to be honest, I think. And and certainly when I came back felt like it was all about the sharing the highs and an expectation to really um share the highlight reel rather than the reality of that experience. Um and it's something that has taken years to kind of own the story. And I know, you know, you and I talk about stories a lot and mm -hmm. how we write them and articulate them and, and own them and take the lessons from them. Um but yeah, that was, that was a, you know, again, decades later, to, or a decade later, probably to truly own the fact that I'd been to Olympic Games and, and come to appreciate it even. Mm, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting, interesting reflection on that period, um, yeah. but incredibly grateful. And I guess the other thing for me, Jeff, as well as, you know, along that journey, there were plenty of people who put in the work, right? Who had the passion, the persistence, oh, yeah. and you know, the, the privilege really from my standpoint, you know, looking back on it is just that I, I you know, I was one of the fortunate ones that get the accolade um, as well as the experience. And, and so from my standpoint, you know, there's a responsibility then to share the stories from it and the lessons learned and that sort of stuff. And, and that's really what I'm passionate about now. Yeah.